Hey there, today we have our speed session for the week. It's dynamic day both on the field as well as in the gym. So get ready to move fast, explosive and bring strong intent to these sessions. Ultimately, if we want to get faster and more powerful, you've got to train it. So it's really important that when, when these days uh, come up, you bring your, bring your intensity, bring lots of energy to get the most out of these sessions. They don't pop up all the time. Uh, we might do them once a week, every now and then, maybe twice a week. So we wanna make sure the quality and the intensity is there. That's really, really important. So we're gonna start with a feel good five minute jog. Uh, we had a different type of session on Monday. So make sure that we're getting, we're feeling good and we, we're getting some good recovery from that session. And you're able to listen to your body today. If you're feeling a little bit sore and you need to back off a little bit, that's important too, to always listen to your body. So for five minute feel good jog can be a good screen to see how you've pulled up from two days before. Uh, then we've got some change of direction. This is just get your hips and feet ready for some lateral work. So choose three of the below list of movements, uh, any three that feel good for your body. Ultimately, just preparing our groins, hip flexors and hammies for that uh, lateral uh, speed work. Then we've got five 20 meter strides, focus on good technique, building up to 75% of your max speed. Okay, so really hard accelerations here. Um, build into them and make sure that we're relaxed and focusing on uh, quality technique. Then in terms of our uh, session today, we've got a combo uh, mix agility with uh, some rep running. So you start the set with 60 seconds of an aerobic run. So that's a, that's a pretty easy run. It's faster than a jog, um, but it's a comfortable pace that you're able to maintain. It's lower than your 2K time trial. Then we go into a 30 second jog, which is just a real easy recovery pace jog. 30 second walk, and then the 15 second grid agility. I'll show you the diaphragm, diagram here. So you start in the start point here in the green. You've got four cones spread out uh, in a grid format, and you have 15 seconds to get to as many cones as you can. So you always come back to the start. So you might do a lateral shuffle to the back cone, back to the start, then a shuttle run to the uh, forward cone and back, and then you might get another rep in to round out the 15 seconds. So you get around three to four reps here. We're focusing on forward, uh, leaning in the direction that we're going next. So wherever the head goes, the feet and hips follow. So make sure that you're swiveling the head and getting quality change of direction work in. So we're conditioning those groins and preparing you for when skills training comes back in. So high intensity here, focus on your quick feet. Then we've got a 60 meter run. So build up to a solid pace for that 60 meter effort. Bit of breakaway speed, focus on your first three steps, jog back, and you've got that twice through. Okay, so rest if you need it to allow for quality before the next 60 second run. Um, but if you're feeling good, go straight into that 60 second aerobic run. Then from there, once we've got through that twice, then we finish with 400 meter aerobic efforts with 10 seconds rest. You have four minutes recovery to do some kicking in between. Really important, like I mentioned on Sunday's presentation to all the athletes, and if you missed it, watch the recording in the Team Builder feed and the Discord group. Um, but we've discussed the importance of just bringing in the footies for at least one session a week uh, to condition the legs, keep the quads active with your kicking, uh, and also to sharpen your skills. We have, once that's done, that's one set and you've done your kicking for four minutes, and then from there, complete three sets. So you should get about just under 5K worth of running volume today, uh, but it's the it's introducing the lateral movement under some fatigue that's the key. Enjoy it, have some fun, and reach out in the Team Builder app if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.